morning everyone it's laura t at dream deals one two three on ebay i'm the silver owl thrifter on youtube and i made 143 dollars not overnight um over the last few days and i will share how much is profit i forgot to add it all up here too i think uh, we'll do that in a minute. um yes i'll talk too about everything that's been going on so we got this just sold Babo 1X, just a little plus 1X green pullover casual short sleeve knit blouse top shirt. Those are the keywords. Babo is sold by, uh, it's a brand that is used by Stitch Fix and a lot of times Stitch Fix people will uh, People who shop at Stitch Flicks, well, Stitch, that's Stitch Flicks, that sounds like a streaming service for sewing. <laughs> Anyways, um, where was I? Yes, okay. Anyhow, this sold for $5 plus $6 shipping, $11 total. I paid a dollar. I only made $3 on this. I'll tell you right now, margins were not good, but... Everything here is like super bread and butter. Stuff you can readily find. I'm just not getting. I, it's like thing. I had some pretty good sales, but I put everything on 40% and still was taking offers. Like these Uggs, I paid $11 for them because I thought I could get about $50, but I ended up selling them for $24 plus $11 shipping. Uggs, Alina, black sheepskin cuff, moccasin slipper size, seven shoes. Size was a little bit, I don't have a lot of luck with sevens. They're just a little smaller than what I like. Paid up for it, put it on a 40%. It, all, all my good like bread and butter stuff is selling pretty well, but at very reduced rates. So that's what's going on. Oh, there's Chelsea upstairs. I want to talk about Chelsea too. Um, $24 plus $11 shipping, but I, since I paid up for them so much, and now, you know, I wanted to give maybe eight, nine dollars for shipping, so I'll make $11 on those. Not a lot, not as much. Now, if I had paid five, I would have made, what, 16 or something. So it really is important that buy-in rate. All right, there's Bingley. Oh. I see the place here. I'm not gonna. I, I'm gonna put a link to the listing when it comes up in a couple of days because we're selling our house. Some of you who saw this area, I'm sure you don't even recognize it anymore from when it was my office, all crowded. Holy cow! And I'll link like the video I made of like what it looked like before. Uh, when I get that, that'll be something that'll ha be happening this week. Um, Bob, no, these are. Eurostep women's shoes, size eight and a half, DeLorean clogs, mules, brown leather comfort. Again, I paid $9 for these and thought I would get about, you know, 40. We got 18 plus $10 shipping. So I ended up selling them for 28 and making seven on those. All right, and good sales? Did I have any good margins? Zara basic women's floral wrap midi dress neck dress neck size large. I don't know why I have the word neck in there. So just a nice Zara basic wrap. Paid six dollars for this. Sold it for fifteen plus seven. And, you know, all these prices are, you know, like if I say I sold it for 15, I had it at about 30 because I'm selling things about 40, 50% off. So that's how much, you know, maybe I should have done 30%, but I like seeing these sales. So, you know, because we're still trying to downsize as we get closer to our moving out date. We're moving from a big house to a real little house. I have lots of inventory room here and none like it's getting to the point where I think we might have to do a shed for me or something because there's just not room for everything else. I don't know. We're downsizing like crazy, including trying to sell everything, uh, sell it all off. Um, so 15 plus seven, I made $6 on that. 
this. Victoria's Secret, Sexy Little Things. Two piece lingerie, green shimmer size 36C, very cute. Sold that for $12 plus $6 shipping, 18. I paid two, made nine. So that's a nice 50% margin. The buy-in price was two. So there you go. Swimsuits for all, blue swimsuits, swim skirt, bottom plus size 24. Just your basic, I sell a lot of these, these just blue swim shorts from Plans and L.L. Bean. Swimsuits for all, um, $6 plus $7 shipping, I paid thir so 13 I paid three, I made four. This is a nice field and stream blue chamois, heavy soft flannel shirt, men's large, excellent use condition, hunting, and I paid uh, or I, I sold it for ten plus eight dollars shipping for eighteen. I paid four and made five dollars on it. Again, thought I would make a little more. It's all right. I think that's it. I think that's it. So I made one forty three gross and forty two net. So a hundred and one dollars. Now a lot of people will put in the comments, "Wow, eBay's taking a lot of fees." It's really not the eBay fees. It's my buy-in costs and that I am, you know, if I had gotten the prices that I originally had on here, this would be a lot different. Um, so, I don't know, maybe margins have to be more, we're thinking 30%, I don't know, I don't know. I, you know, and this is like I said, this is a very weird thing for me with, put it, you know, because we're trying to downsize. So don't think that if you do this, well, I do believe that things are very competitive right now. So, but I might have gone a little extreme on my sale here. Um, but I don't want to wait. I want to get the fast sale. So anyways, so I've made a total so far of sorry, it up, uh, uh, seven, 32,877 gross and sixteen thousand four hundred and twenty net for the year and I have 303 items now I really haven't been listing anything last time I talked I had 319 so things are selling I mean you know having 300 items listed and making consistent sales but again I'm giving very good deals so uh chelsea i think i don't know if i had said in my last one she had a little fall down the stairs and tore took her to the vet and they did x no they didn't do x-rays of her knee but she felt around her knee and thought she has a torn ligament she's hoping it'll heal and it won't be like a or a torn something something happened to her knee they're hoping that after a couple of weeks of anti-inflammatories that it'll just kind of heal but they also she was disturbed at some wheezing and she took a chest and lung x-ray and the heart looks pretty enlarged and uh, uh so we're doing some blood tests and stuff but uh anyways to be continued um just getting everything done here we were supposed to have pictures taken today but they changed it to thursday and that's good because my handyman did not finish the cabinets we still don't have cabinets up so I was a little nervous yesterday, but he assured me he would be here at 9.30 today and we would get it done. So, uh, and he's the type of guy who I think will work late into the night to finish if he needs to. Got a couple more days, so that's good. Um, and then the house is on coming soon. We already have a couple of um, bookings. One for 10 on Saturday, one for 11 on Saturday. And we're going to go to the lake house that we bought in Virginia while the house is being shown and take the cats and the dog and just get out of the way. And uh, then hopefully we'll get a few people in here, a lot of people. And I'm excited that we already got two appointments and that we don't even have it on officially listed. We do have it on coming soon. 
and then it'll go officially listed on Saturday. Okay, yeah, just talking a little real estate. And my son is visiting. He just got done with a jiu-jitsu tournament where he did not advance, but he enjoyed it immensely, and uh, it was great. It was funny, he said that he the jiu-jitsu tournament was in Atlantic City, and he said it was in a casino, and like half of the venue, or big thing, big hotel or whatever, was a casino, and half was like jiu-jitsu, this big jiu-jitsu tournament. And he said it was just kind of like a study in contrasts. He said like the, everybody at the, um, casino you know in the slots and stuff he said mom he goes they look like they just smoking drinking because you can smoke there and going on their phones and just he said they were all morbidly obese most of them and he said it just had such a bad negative vibe he said, and then you go to the jiu-jitsu side and it's like all these guys and gals doing their you know trying to better themselves and everything like that totally different different vibe um <clears throat> I like gambling, but uh, I mean, not like all the time, but uh, I'm pretty good at blackjack. And at the last, uh, <laughs> last uh, at the cruise we went on, I almost won a big tournament. Yeah, I, I, and I hadn't played for 30 years. When I worked at the restaurant at that Scornavacos, we used to play gamble a lot. There was a lot of gamblers there and go to the track and everything. And my dad, of course, went to the track a lot and he lost lots of money. So I, I've had negative experiences with gambling. So I don't like... I'm not even, don't even uh, care to do it, you know. Well, hold on a second. I'm just doing my video. I'll be right up. Yeah. Well, uh, anyways, it was, it was interesting, interesting, uh, that observation that he, he made there. So uh, that's about it. He just called me. He woke up. So I think I'm going to go and hang out with him before he goes back. And I'll see you in the next one.